welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia. Today I have for you my winter Fab Fit Fun. I am so excited. It has been quite a bit of time since I've gotten a Fab Fit Fun. I used to be a yearly subscriber in spring. My subscription was up and I did not renew. And then I waited to see what they had in the summer. Nothing made me really want it, so I did not renew. Same for fall. But as I kept seeing the spoilers for Fab Fit Fun Winter, I had a feeling I would bite the bullet and get a year subscription again. I really like the year subscription because you get to choose your whole box and you get to do it earlier. So anyway, I really am excited to see what's in here. Um, I cannot believe it is almost Thanksgiving or really Christmas for that matter. My daughter keeps begging and begging to do Christmas decorations. So we finally got her little tree down. We, I just, I feel like I'm hot and flushed. Well, there's another feeling I am. We just got done making caramel and some fudge. So anyway, it's like holidays are in full swing. Um, I'm from Indiana and I live in California now. So it, it just never, ever, ever feels like Thanksgiving or Christmas. Um, it used to start bothering me in October and I've gotten to where I can handle October. But given that it was like 80 yesterday, it just never feels like um, the holidays to me. Anyway, so we have a bag or a box full of goodies. I am so excited. Um, there were like the first category alone, I wanted like three or four things. I know you can add on. I did not do that. So you do get a magazine. Let me see. I don't know. Let's see if I can find the page. Sometimes these are like, I feel like harder to find the information than possibly it should be. Ay, ay, ay. Maybe. So I know just from like glancing through here, they do, there's recipes, workouts, and then kind of behind the scenes. I'm actually not seeing, maybe I have to like scan a QR code or something because I'm not seeing product information. So maybe their brochure is different. So I have flipped through most pages and I am not seeing here's choice one, here's choice two and stuff. So that does not have any of that. So let's just get on to it. I guess I'm not gonna be able to tell you which choice is which. Interesting. All right, so I am excited about these. These are Sur La Table and it is utensils. And so I've been thinking about upgrading utensils for a while because I just buy the cheap, I don't know, wooden spoon pack at Walmart and it is what it is. These feel so nice. I am so excited. Um, I've never really had like name brand. These feel like beyond quality, like solid wood. This is almost heavy. Like in a way it's almost too heavy if there's such a thing. So um, these are all the ones, these are super nice. I'm very excited for these, but you could almost like, you could almost do a workout. These are a heavy, heavy duty. Um, but I feel like these are going to last a long time. These would make a great gift. I am super excited for these. I wish I had some, a brochure to tell you how much they're valued or to tell me what choice. I guess I didn't realize. Usually there's a magazine and so I didn't think to scan a QR code or something. So, I don't know. But these are, if there is such a thing, almost too good of a quality. They are really heavy, but I am super excited. Those are going right to my kitchen drawer. So this was an add-on that I feel like I may regret. So for $35, you could get this salon blowout tool. And I feel like if we have a gift exchange at work or something, this may go in one of those like, you know, games, if you play the game um, version. I don't know, I should give it a try. But I am generally a wake up and brush my hair. So I normally, what. Um, you shampoo at night and then I just brush it out and I go. I don't do styling tools. I have a flat iron. I have another sort of blowy, dry, kind of curling iron tool. So I don't know. I think I got this on a whim with good intentions, but I kind of wonder if it's going to go to the graveyard of hair tools. All right, lots of little extras. I've heard good things about this, so I may give these a whirl. These are, I think, almost like a Gatorade sort of hydration thing you put in your water. Lots of random paperwork. Funny how there's all this paperwork, but no brochure. 
All right, this is another thing I was excited about. My husband's hobby is to, he roasts coffee, he loves coffee, and his throth, th his throth, I can't even say that word, throth, frother, anywho, his frother is like literally $4 from Ikea. So this is, I think, a $25 value. So I was excited uh, for this. And in that category, I don't think there was anything I was super excited about. So I'm excited that he gets um, something that he can use. All right, I picked the mascara and there was something else I was thinking about in that category. I think it was a vitamin C serum, but vitamin C often doesn't work for me. So this is a go big or go home volumizing mascara. Uh, I just got the Huda Beauty one that's volumizing and I don't know, I'm not sure I like it. So anyway, I don't know whether all volumizing uh, mascaras would be the same, but I thought this was a safer bet. The packaging is really nice, raised letters. And they're kind of a sticky sort of thing. Oh, this is Kat Von D. So this is a very big, um, very nice packaging. I kind of like that it's black because some of these I've been getting are white packaging and the white just looks so dirty after a while. So I do like a thicker brush. I'm excited to try that. Very nice packaging. I love mascara, so that is a win. I will give that a whirl. All right, so I picked the Cat Cat. Kate Spade earrings. I had seen, I think these are a throwback and I wanted to get them before, but something in another category, I wanted more. So these are really pretty. And I, for the most part, just want the pearls. So I am gonna take the pearls and then I am going to put the diamond studs in my next giveaway because I don't, that's just not me. Um, so, but I love the pearls. So I am super, super excited for those. We have, I don't know if all states have outlets, but we have lots and lots of outlet malls in California. So you can get Kate Spade earrings often like 50% there at the outlet. So I think, I don't know what they put these as, $50 value or something. I'm not sure what they put these as, but um, I love them. I think they're pretty. So I'm excited for the pearls. Um, I will definitely use those. Why do I feel like I'm missing something? All right, this is another one that was a win for me because this product is more than I paid. So this is Sunday Riley, the Retin-8, the Retinol Serum. And this is, I believe, $85. And so I paid $50 per box. So I'm super excited. A plus high dose retinoid uh, serum. Um, so I love the packaging. Uh, I, so far, have had really good luck with Runday, Sunday Riley. I've used this in the past, so very excited. When I saw this in the spoilers, I sort of was like leaning towards getting the box, and then as I, there was something I really wanted in every category, I'm like, yes, I have to get this box. So super excited, that paid for the box. And I don't remember, I really wish there was a brochure. I feel like I'm missing something along the way somewhere. I think this was an add-on. I don't know. Maybe, uh, this is a, I am all into hair masks and trying different hair masks. This is a brand that my hairdresser carries and she doesn't carry very many hair brands at her salon. So when I saw that it's like the Unite 7 Second Mask, I love hair masks. My hair is, you know, always gives me issues. So super excited to try that. I believe that was an add-on and it was like five bucks. So I thought, why not give it a whirl? So I think I should have six products. Let's see, I have the frother, the spoons, the earrings, the mascara, and the retinoid. Okay, so I have one more. Um, this category was sort of, yeah. There was a lot of Briogeo, and I know Briogeo is supposed to be a really nice brand. So I got the Curl Charisma Rice Amino Avocado Leave-In Defining Cream. So I'm excited to try that. I will say a lot of creams and such weigh me down. So I often use this as a pre-shampoo kind of cream. I started doing that from a tip from another YouTuber and it has really made a huge difference in the softness of my hair. And sometimes when I'm conditioning, I put in a leave-in cream like on my hair first and then I put in conditioner and then I rinse it out just because my hair weighs down so easily. So I'm excited to try this. 
um, and I will probably use it, like I said, either as with my conditioner or as a pre-shampoo thing. So I am really excited about the winter Fat Fit Fun Box. Um, I really, <coughs> excuse me, super excited. Um, now, because I bought for the year, hopefully all the next three seasons will be good, but very happy with this. And I cannot believe, oh, and I'm dropping these everywhere. The quality of these, these are so heavy. I'm interested to see how they feel cooking because they are, all right, I am back. Towards the end right there, I was getting ready to have a cough attack. I had to go use my inhaler. Anywho, uh, and then I showered and I thought I would refilm the whole thing. But I think that's not gonna be the case. So I thought I would scan the barcode because I thought it would tell me more information um, because I like when they have all the products. So I scanned the QR code, it made you get the app, I got the app, and basically it just listed my products, which doesn't really do anything for me. It tells me the price value, um, and then I can click on it and get a little more information. But I kind of like seeing the other things and talking about what I would have gotten, etc. But anyway, they didn't have that. So I am really, really happy with the winter box. I think it was a great value. I loved everything that I got, so I'm very excited. I will do prices really quick since I didn't have that to begin with. But the Retin-A is $85. Uh, these guys are $40, but I was looking at the box in the interim and it's hand wash only. That's sort of like a yuck. I don't like anything hand wash only. Um, I'm probably also not going to live by that, so that may uh, damage these. These are super nice. I've never had such heavy duty utensils. Um, I wish they would make them dishwasher safe. Like at the store, I would never buy $40 utensils if I can't put them in the dishwasher. So that's kind of a bummer for me personally. I don't, we don't hand wash things. Um, this is the a pear milk frother for $25. Uh, the Briogeo Curl Cream is $20. The Kat, Kat Von D Mascara is $24. And the Kate Spade earrings, they claim, are $68. And I would say, I mean, yes, if you went to a Kate, Kate, Kate Spade store, you would pay that. Um, just because we have the outlets and stuff, I feel like $36 is a better value. But they are really pretty. I love the pearls. I'm getting into wearing smaller earrings, so I really love these. Again, really excited with my box. The funny thing is, I understand if they wanted to get rid of the paper to save the environment, but it's funny how they have all these pages, but none of the product details. But then they want you to, you know, I almost feel like it was a ploy to get you to download their app or something. Um, because what's the point of having all the paper if you're not gonna actually put the products in it? Oh well, minor complaint doesn't really affect anything. Super excited to have my fat fit fun. And um, anyway, I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.